Wake up. <laughs> you have to get me out of here. My back is killing me. What happened? We were having a lovely evening drive. And the guys in the front started screaming and boom. <sighs> what do you remember? Um, Melina. My name is Melina. Lily. Yeah. I gotta get back to her. Um. Oh, jeez. All oh, right. Let me down. I know first aid. I can help. Ah. Uh, he's out cold, but he's stable. What about that guy? He's dead. Get me out of these straps. They're cutting off my circulation. Um. We'll get help. And by the time the sun comes up, I'll be buying you breakfast. You're supposed to be strapped down. Oh, okay. You have to use the heavy duty safety gear when it's grand mal seizures. Seizures? What did you say your name was? Melina. Melina. Yeah. You. You suffered considerable head trauma by the looks of it. So I understand why you might be confused. But I need you. We need you. Yeah. If you don't strap me, then I can help. Um. Uh. Does anyone copy? Hello? Hello? We, we need to work together to get out of here. So you get home to Lily. That's what you want, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Look, I'm a teacher. Grade six English. I have two kids, Brian and Jenny. I, I live at 325 Palm Crescent. OK, I acknowledge this detail's a little bit scary. I, I drive a 10-year-old minivan, complete with a dashboard hula girl playing the ukulele. <laughs> All right, OK, let's do this. OK, great. Just got to buckle my hands so I can brace myself. Brace yourself, too. I'm not that heavy, but still. You both had seizures? At the same time? You should have listened. I would have just walked away, and now... Now we have to do this. Drop her right now. a bad start. Can we at least talk about it? Melina. Melina. Oh, fuck me! Else? At least six, I'm thinking. Yeah, my hip. 
Feels like it was hit headlong by a 454 at me. <laughs> then there's my shin. Oh, boy. It's bad. Stupid little lady and no fucking around. Don't give me none of this on the count of three. <laughs> That should be good. I have to call Lily. She'll be freaking out when I don't come home. It'll be all right, little lady. I promise. How's your noggin feeling? <laughs> I think I have a concussion. <laughs> Everything's all muddy. I don't remember anything today except for breakfast, Lily. And how to fix a shattered shin. <laughs> <laughs> That too. Lucky me. <laughs> what happened? What's with the cops, the psycho in the back? A medical prison transfer. <sighs> I'm right, aren't I? Sleep tight, big man. Whoever you want me to be, okay? Just open the door, please. Yes, yes. Come on, get the keys. Come on, yes. Here you go, come on. Why are you in here? I, I was being transported to the federal prison hospital in Drumheller. Why? I did the, the fucking ass cancer. No, I mean, why are you in jail? <laughs> Obviously, I'm innocent. <laughs> well, come on. Enjoy your ass cancer, then. No, fuck. I swear to fucking God, I would give you fucking ass cancer! Fuck this! Hey, hey, it's okay. Oh. Why aren't you resting? Hey, watch where you're pointing that thing. And always remember to disengage the safety when you want to use it. Good, sir! Hey, could you, could you get me out of here? Not a chance in hell. I got like nine gallons of fucking piss in me. Then piss. Fuck! Hey. Kerr, hang in there, okay? She's losing blood. I gotta grab supplies to patch her up. Can we move her? No. Not until I'm sure there's no spinal injury. Hey, you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll live. You? What is going on here? Don't tell me what's going on! This, this is a fucking hit! If I've ever seen one, can you not see that? The ambulance's tires blew out. And our driver's side wheel exploded. Next thing I know, we're losing control and sliding into the trees. Regardless, somebody wanted us off that road right here tonight. Well, you have a gun. Better. I have two.
That should be good. Is she gonna pull through? I gave her a sedative for the pain and patched her up. We should move her before she regains consciousness. There could still be internal bleeding. So, um, like, uh, you know, if she's not shitting blood in the next couple hours, I might still have a chance. Another word, and I'm putting a bullet in your leg and calling it an accidental weapon discharge. <laughs> oh, Richard, it's so fucking scary. What is that, 30 feet? I guess. Maybe less. <sighs> Just out of sight. No one would even know we're here. You check your radio? Just static. I think something got damaged in the crash. No, it's the geography. Radio waves can't find their way out of the canyon, just bouncing back and forth. Once everyone's patched up, I'm going up that hill, and I'm gonna try and snag a signal from the road to try and flag someone down, okay? Uh, um, um, Dick, <clears throat> um, um, Rich Hard, <clears throat> I'm just, just throwing this out there. Um, don't you think if someone ran us off the road, they might be up there and want to finish the fucking job, stupid dumb fuck? Keep talking and you'll make it easier for them to find you first. And it's Richard. My name's Richard. On three. One, two, three. ask you something. Have you ever used a sidearm before? <sighs> My parents were hunters. Lots of guns, bows, you name it. You think any of that rubbed off on me? <laughs> nope. It's not a problem. This is a safety, okay? On, off. When it's off, point it at whoever or whatever is doing something bad. Pull the trigger, and they'll stop doing something bad. <laughs> something bad? Is that official police terminology? No, but given our situation, I'm bending the rules. You seem like you can handle yourself. Thanks. What Sideburns was saying back there? Was this a hit? Are we in danger? The most dangerous thing is handcuffed in the cruiser over there and handcuffed with the gurney in here. There's a prisoner's body. getting so good. This is what he does. He gets into your head. Here, hold this. So this, all of this, is this your doing? I'm happy to take credit for it, if that's what you'd like. If it makes you happy, does it turn you on? <laughs> he stays put. No matter what happens, same goes for the other guy. They're no good. I don't know a judge in the country that would have a problem if you had to shoot either one of them. I'm going to get help. You stay here, look after the wounded, and try to stay patient. Someone's liable to come along any time and get us out of here. Richard, promise me I'm going to see my daughter again. I promise. But remember, if it's something bad, kill it. We don't need luck. We got guns. That 
dude's got the hots for you. Aiden! <laughs> Could you tell me what the hell is going on before I lose my goddamn mind? <laughs> Clicking a, a squirrel, maybe? Quiet. I'm just saying it. Shh. Too, huh? Officer Bay! Richard! What the fuck did I miss?
if this is it, can I have one more smile? I might not be back for a while. Will you miss me when I'm gone? Why the fuck am I singing this song? How? I don't know. Look, I'm just telling you what I saw. Hair? Yeah. I didn't see it clearly, but it looked like it was covered in hair. <sighs> Please, just tell me anything to stop me from freaking the fuck out right now. Well, they seem to have gone away. <clears throat> Do you have something to say? Mm-hmm. Did you see something when they took the body out of here? Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I was just trying to break the ice. You two are so tense. You have exactly three seconds to offer something constructive. It's a hunt. A hunt for what? Sport, food, good old-fashioned primal instinct. I have a rather limited viewpoint, but one thing is clear. They have a plan. All we can do is wait for them to execute it. Shh. gun.
Damn, I need more light. What are you doing? Improvising. Is that all the bullets we got? It's gonna have to do. So they just took the body out of the ambulance but left Franson? Yes, look. Can we hear this up? So you patched me up and took my gun? Yes, I needed it. Here. Use this to patch that wound. How many kids you got? Huh? Only somebody who's a mom uses their mouth like a third hand. How many teddy bears, food cloth pouches you hold in your mouth while you're wiping a butt? A lot. How old? She'll be 13 in May. Big party planned? First one I'm not invited to. You love her? She's everything. Good. Because over the next decade, she's gonna do and say things that are gonna make you wonder if you even like her. Never mind love her. But she's gonna come back to you. And when she does, it's gonna be amazing. First, I gotta get back to her. Good. So whatever happens next, know this. Whatever you have to do tonight, no matter how horrible, it's for her. Got that? Got it. Ugh. I could just leave him here, you know? Ugh. Jesus! Sit on my ass bigger than you. So come on! Fucking do. My time's been served. Justice has been served for you. You ruined my fucking life. You understand that? You ruined my fucking life, you ungrateful fucking guy. And I've been doing time ever since you touched me. You took away my self worth. <laughs> my unborn daughter when you shoved that thing inside me. You want to talk about time? I've been waiting my no, whole no, no, life don't for this. Me. Please don't do this! Don't! Fuck! <laughs>
Let's hurry up. Let's go. Come on. Get this crazy fucking tank off of me. Hey, help me. Two thousand and three. Yeah, you uh -uh. shot a man. Remember? And then you pinned it on someone else. A stupid gook. That's what the report said. <laughs> that stupid gook was sentenced to twenty-five years for a crime he didn't commit. <laughs> Trips. So I go into the bar. I order myself a beer. Place is it full deep? Of cowboys is it deep? And I meet this woman, like this real woman. And this woman is like she just stepped off the runway of Fifth Avenue. Smart, ivory skin, stunning eyes and smile. She was a sight to see. I end up fucking her in the ass in a shitty motel. It was a perfectly romantic night. That's not the best part. I end up next to this incredible, amazing godliness of a woman. She's fast asleep, but I look at her in the moonlight. Her breasts are so round like torpedoes. And she has this incredibly divine collarbone. And honestly, this is my best part about a woman. Her neck. Long, lean. And tight like a swan. Oh God, Melina, make him stop! The neck was art, pure art, like God Himself had formed it out of glass. Her skin didn't have a blemish or a freckle or a mole. I reached out to touch her. And she felt like butter. I can smell her right now. Oh, it was one of those amazing life bullseye moments, you know? That's when I opened her up with my pocket knife. It's a real squirter, like a fountain. When she finally awoke, she barely had the strength to look at me. And then 
I saw that beautiful moment when the light left her eyes. Funny, situations like this can bring that back, you know? set it up so that no one will miss you when you arrive late at your designated locations. There is no rescue party coming. There is no one looking for you. You are trapped. Now, you can try and prepare, but know this. Tonight, each one of you is going to die because you deserve it. Oh, God, I've heard so much worse. There has to be a reason for this. Sideburns raped a girl. Officer Kerr shot someone's brother, but... I don't believe in the death penalty. I understand personal vengeance. What? General MacArthur. No, that's from a TV show. Deadwood. Ian McShane, 2004, season two. No, wait. It's season MacArthur. One. I know. You really don't. This is about vengeance. They got those two guys for shit they did in their past. I get criminals. I mean, this guy, sure, but Officer Avez? What did he do? I think the real question is, what did the three of you do to deserve this? I just want to see my daughter again. We'll get you out of here, little lady. I promise. Fuck yeah, we are. I, I mean we, we can do this. Jake, dap in. I want you to pull out all the sharpest supplies that you can find. Scissors, scalpel, anything. Aiden, in the cabinet, we have three gallons of alcohol. Above it, we have gurney rope, surgical tape, and tubing. Grab them. What about me? Another word out of you, and we're going to use you as bait. <sighs> you know what? Fuck these guys. We're going to get ourselves out of here. OK, that's the third car in less than half an hour. You ready? Is it gonna work? Yeah, it'll run. Maybe 30 seconds, a minute top before the lubrication runs out of it, but it's good to go. This better work. It will. It will.
you doing? <laughs> Be good to go. Soon. Get ready. This better work. Uh, what's the plan, party people? <clears throat> I am fortunate these fine people allowed us to meet tonight. What are you here for? You, son. I'm here for you. Well, what does that even mean? I haven't slept a full night of sleep since the last time I saw her. So much energy wasted thinking about this. You think I did something to a friend of yours? You did something horrible to someone I loved, Aiden. When I get going with this, I want you to lean into it. Just accept it. It'll make this so much easier for both of us if you do. These good people tell me that they'll make sure you don't escape. Get this going so I can get a night's rest. Melina! No! No, not yet. Jay, hit it! Fucking A, princess! Don't fight it, son. We'll get him back. Oh. We got something they want. Why are you doing this to us? Look at her. Look at her! Go. Again. Why are you doing this to us? Not all of us are criminals. Yes, you are. All of you. And the only reason they haven't blown the doors off and filled you with bullets is because they have plans for each one of you. Why? <laughs> We're gonna try this again. Why are you doing this? Uh, holy fucking shit! You can't do this! Not like this, please, please! <laughs> Blow it up! No! Our partner. Release him. <laughs> Let him go or we kill your partner! No discussion! So be it. Finish what we came here to do. <laughs> You're not gonna do this, right? You're just trying to scare me, aren't you? <laughs> Better safe than sorry. Do something. An eye for an eye. 
An eye for an eye. You go home and get that full night's sleep you've wanted. Now, you did a fine job. A fine job. She'd have been proud of you. Wouldn't she? More than you know. I miss her so much. <laughs> I know. I know. Number four has finished his task for the evening. Please take him home. Number five, it's your turn. for this? Good. There are three gifts left. Your present is in there, strapped to a gurney. The issue, they have several unknown weapons. And one of our own is in there with them. Let us go. Someone shoot this bitch. Talk again, and I swear to God. You seem to be under the false understanding that you and your friends are going to leave here alive. That's just not going to happen. We have spent years getting to this night. Every angle has been accounted for. Each one of you, cops, paramedics, criminals, has been handpicked because of your crimes. And no, Melina. You are not leaving. You guys like some kind of vigilantes? <laughs> Jesus. The police are going to love hearing about this. Oh, really? How do you think we arranged all of this? <sighs> so what? We all deserve to die then. <sighs> I get it with the criminals. But the police officers, us paramedics, the courts don't work 100% of the time. The police, more often than not, don't find their man. Victims sometimes don't report the horrific crimes inflicted upon them. You know that. You all know that. Let us walk, and we don't tell anyone. <laughs> that offer is never going to be on the table. We get safe passage out of here, or I kill your friend. Simple as that. No, you won't. You don't know that. Yes, I do. Well. Are you sure about that? Kill him, then. Wait! What? You knew the dangers involved in this evening's endeavor. I will make a deal. 
Inside there, you have a man named Derek Franson. You surrender him to us, and we will permit you and your friends to have an extra half an hour to live. If you don't, we will cover that ambulance in gasoline and cook you alive. You guys fucking suck. We need a minute. I'll give you two. She said, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with it. You sure? You know what this guy's in for? He had like four murders and 25 rapes under his belt before they even caught him. Women. Kids. And that's even what they know of. This guy, he's a human colostomy bag. Favor. I'm right here. You think you can live with that? Can you? Shh. One minute. Officer Revez. One of the most decorated cops at his station. As an officer of the law, he was as good as it got. But as a man, he was something far worse. You see, it was discovered that he had accepted money and payments from drug dealers and other nefarious pieces of shit. He bought a very nice second home with the financial handouts from a particularly cruel street pimp. Hey, now, track his voice for me. This street pimp not only bought and sold underprivileged women for sex, but he also made awful films with their children. Now. It was never proven in a court of law, but Officer Revez made money not only from the sale of said videos, but he was also a co-star of many of the films. So there's that. Officer Kerr, on her first year of duty, shot a perp on a call. She ended up pinning this on a young teenage boy, which ultimately took away his future and thus his life. Percy Ball had an unfortunate hunger for human flesh. <laughs> Number six. Thank you. Macy, who was known for his unusual religious haircut and his pension for burglary. He served time and even got prostate cancer. But what he got away with, what he never paid for, was a straight up rape of a young pregnant girl. Now, this girl, this Young newlywed was three weeks away from her due date. And Brian crushed and killed her unborn child during the rape. His father was a very successful lawyer, and he skated away with all charges dropped. And as a bonus, he got a huge, fat, civil suit settlement for all of his wasted time. Yeah, but I didn't know any of them. 
What about Aiden? He was one of my friends. Number seven. And that brings us to Aiden Haunt. Hmm. A nice lad, very popular, you know, solid athlete. And he had a very cute teenage girlfriend. Hmm. Yes. Now, did you ever see Aiden drink? Hmm? No? Well, that is probably because when Aiden drank, he got very, very violent. Hmm. One night, he put his girlfriend in the hospital. Apparently, he beat her with a Louisville slugger 32 times until she was brain dead at the age of 16. He did two years of juvie, but his record never showed on his adult file when he was 18. Now, Mr. Franson, hmm, we all know his deal, hmm? Of all the people here, more than anybody, he deserves this punishment that's coming to him. And boy, have we got a really special thing for him. That's a given, hmm? So why don't we move on to Jake Hernandez, hmm? Now, come on, Jake. Are you going to tell her, or am I? Fuck you, man. Fuck you, and fuck your mother, you dirty, low-life piece of shit. Oh, come on, Jake, tell her. It's all bullshit. He's trying to get into our heads, tear us apart. Oh, come now, Jake. You didn't really think that people wouldn't find out? Now, Jake used to work as a caregiver for seniors. You're full tilt cycle, man! Now, Jake, when I was a lad, oh, I worked in an old folks home, and I get it. I really do. It's a shitty job. You know, wiping asses and dealing with dementia, 10% more than minimum wage. It's no way to make a living. But you, you found a way to make it profitable. You see, Melina, in a senior's home or a care facility, when a client dies, the care facility gets an insurance settlement. And it's, it's not much, but it's about $10,000. And this goes towards incidental fees and you know the last month's rent before they can fill the place. Now, I'm sorry. An arrangement was made with the administrator so that every time a senior died, Jake got 10%. <laughs> hmm. Of all the people tonight, I know you are the least violent, but it must have taken a lot of pillows over a lot of frail old ladies' faces to buy that houseboat. Did it not, Jake? Now, Jake, of everybody here, you are the most quiet and, I would say, even the most merciful. And there's something in that. But, like Hitler, you were a numbers man. 114 dead, Jake! And of course, nothing could be pinned on you because you were too smart for that. Hmm? So, let's talk about Melina.
Melina. Grab his weapons. We're getting out of here. Do you think we're gonna let you just walk out of here? grandmother go away <laughs> shut up show him <laughs> what did you do to deserve this death it must have been spectacular I knew you were special, Melina. I'm not who they think I am. I know, Melina. It's okay. No! No, they think I'm someone I'm not. I just want to go home to see my daughter. Have it your way. If you want to get out of here, then set me free and get the fuck out of my way. So, I've been waiting all night for this. I promise you, I will kill every last one of them for you. I'm actually pretty amazing at it. I can help. I just gotta get back to my daughter. One last chance, Melina. I will burn you the fuck out of that shitbox if you don't step out right the fuck now! Jesus Christ. Hey, no, 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 not this one. She's my kill. Don't make me come in there. You can hear me! Right now! Come on! All right. That's not working. Just do it.
worked too hard for this. You're mine. I spent years trying to bring you to me. I'm not supposed to be here. Why? Why are you still lying to me after all this? Or are you lying to yourself, too? Oh, my God, were you in an accident? I need a phone. Uh, th there's no signal here, sweetie, but I can happily take you to my farm. It's just up the road, and we have a landline. Okay. Please, just drive. Please! I'm sorry, you're just... We have to get out of here. Um, here, I, I have some water. Thanks. Thanks. We have to go! How long have you been out here tonight? Oh, forever. My car broke down a few months back, and it took a couple hours before anyone stumbled upon me. Is, is that your blood? No. I mean, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Whose is it? Don't slow down, don't slow down. Keep driving, OK? Whatever you do, keep driving. I'm just a little concerned. I am too. No. No. My babies. They're beautiful. <laughs> I have one myself. No, you don't, Melina. How do you know my name? <laughs> oh, your name has been rattling around in my head over and over for over eight years. Who are you? I just thought you would recognize my babies. I, I mean, we heard you had a mental break after the accident, but honestly, we just thought you were playing full of horse shit. How they hired you back as a paramedic. I mean, that is beyond me. Was it your fat friend Jake who helped you out? Where are you taking me? I've always wanted to ask you, you know, mother to mother. How does a woman spend her day drinking and then think it's normal to get behind the wheel with her own daughter? I don't. And then how, as a mother, do you then smash into another family, killing both their children? Then you'll be able to look yourself in the mirror and live a seemingly normal life. I... I didn't do that, okay? My Lily is alive. I just saw her this morning. No, you didn't. Why are you doing this to me? I just want to go home to see Lily. Please! I'm not who you think I am! Do you think that's possible? I mean, what are the chances that we got it wrong? That you are not the woman who killed our children and got away with it? Did you think that was something we're gonna forget? But I'm not. I promise. No, 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 I promise! I just wanna see my- <laughs> 